I'm here with uh, Sarah Monument, Miss Monument. That's right, yep. Uh, you're a regular club and festival DJ, is I that am, right? I am, yep, and a radio DJ as well, yep. Tell us a bit about uh, what kind of gigs you do and what kind of music you play. Um, well, I, I mean, I do a lot of, um, I do monthly radio show down here in Brighton, yep. um, but I do a lot of club nights. Um, I, I do quite a lot around London and sort of up the country UK. Um, I also am, am, you know, quite all over the UK festival scene, but also festivals abroad, yep. um, which is mental, you know, I think my music's, you know, take me around the world. Yep. Um, and I mainly, you know, I, I play a lot of techno and I play a lot of breakbeat, um, nice. is my main sort of genres, but the radio has allowed me to sort of, you know, be a bit more free in between, so anything with a bit of a driving sort of beat, then I'm on it. Love it. Okay, we're going to talk a bit about your music library. Okay. Yeah. Um, so um, uh, we'll start at the beginning. So music discovery. Uh, mm -hmm. Where do you uh, find your new tracks? Do you get sent promos or do you like build playlists in Spotify or YouTube? Or I do. I have to admit, I, I recognise I'm a bit lapsed on the more playlist building side of things, Spotify, YouTube element. Yeah. Um, so I, um, what I like about the radio shows, it keeps me active every month to keep on top of finding music and that and stuff. So from a digital perspective, um, yes, you know, I, I guess I, you know, I, I use a lot. Of, I download a lot through the classic sort of Beatport Juno. Yeah. Yep. Um, I really try my hardest to get involved in Bandcamp because I really like, you know, I, I the, the whole element of how the, you know the royalty perspective back to the artists and that and stuff. But yep. obviously, not everything's on Bandcamp. But I'm, I'm starting to use that a lot more now and try and direct initially there where I can. And of course, I get the promos uh, through, you know, each month, which I then sort of build through and work through each month to then focus on downloading. That's a lot of music to listen to. It is. It is. So. Is there something particularly you're looking for, or you just like? You know, no, it's not. I mean, ov obviously, places like Beatport and June, I guess I, I, I you know, the, initially there's the classic sort of, oh, the brick beat or the techno and things like that. Whereas now, I, yeah, because I've transformed, I guess, my life in a way, I can put a lot more time and focus on pure, more purely you know, music focused. Yep. Um, I, I generally keep it broad. Um, I mean, it is one of those you, where, I guess almost like with vinyl and that, you know, I've got a lot of vinyl. You can literally within a few seconds, you can sort of tell in it and you have that, You have, I guess you have to have that knack or skill where you just instantly can tell, right, that's that's something that I'm good, yeah, it's putting in the, you know, in the, in the, in the box or not sort of thing. Yep. So. And then once you've uh, downloaded your tracks, do you run them through mixed in key or import straight into your DJ software? I am, no, I download and put straight into Recordbox. Uh, Recordbox is my yeah, is, is my to. main tool. Um, it's and transformed it all. And how do you organise all your folders and that kind of stuff? Do you do it by set or by genre or by date? Um, so I mean, or is it a total mess? It, sometimes. It, um, it was, it's, it, 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 I guess it's probably maybe it's mess, uh, mess, my version of uh, yeah organisation compared to other people's, uh, but it's a lot more advanced for me than it previously was. I'm, what I do is uh, I I. Because I have this churn each month with the radio, um, which which has given me this sort of pit stop each month to keep on top of this. Okay, download digitally, and I have this almost like yeah unplayed box that I put stuff into each month. Then when I play the radio, I'll then um, put in them different areas. Whereas then specific different gigs, I guess I just look at maybe what I. I maybe it's more so on what I, what's more recent. I try to keep di digitally. I try to keep things as current as possible. Obviously, I've got things that still feed through, but you know, to me, the point of digital is a lot is because it's this fresh, instant sort of vibe and sound that you can capture right then. Yeah. Um. So I use the date a lot, and then it's purely yeah. Um. I guess I can look through the genre. B I use BPM a lot. Actually, I have to admit, I sort by BPM. Right. And um, I'm getting quite known for my very fluid sets. And so genre is less specific. Um, it's more frequency, tempo, um, and, and just energy. And oh, so cool. I, 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 I sort by BPM, take yeah. out almost blind, say on my shows, and just move among what I know is, what I'd like to think is good tracks, because I've obviously pulled them in there, yeah. and just sort of move around that on that Do you basis. have a sort of start and finish BPM that you're kind of working to, yeah, or you just no, sort of... Um, I have done that before. I've like, well, I want an intro track and an, uh, an end track. And sometimes, because I'm getting so busy now, really, I don't even sometimes have the time to do that. I'm just like, right, have a, I guess have a vibe. But it can it can range from I don't know one two five up to like one four five. It's very very broad, really. Yep. Just whatever I'm feeling works right then. Nice. And uh, do you build uh, playlists for particular gigs, or do you really I, go digging um, on the gig? I I, I do. I, I can. Um, Again, a lot of it comes down to time scale. I think because I'm each month downloading quite a lot of music, it, it sort of allows me then that ability, if I've got, say, a club gig coming up, um, I can just look at, you know, use what I've got there and pull out what I think specific to, to that specific gig. So obviously if I'm, you know, 
I recently played up, you know, the Stay Forever 30th anniversary of Unfold. Obviously, a lot more techno, as a techno based focus. I can tell, you know, using Record Box, I can instantly have a cut off of what I know is not going to be relevant yep. and just start from that point onwards and put it all in the pot and take it from there, really. I love it. Le- and uh, any favourite festivals? Um, well, every year I normally play at Glastonbury, Boomtown. Nice. Um, which I've been playing for a good few years now. Yeah. Um, but then I also love the sort of, you know, more boutique style. Uh, I played at Bolter last year, that was awesome. Um, my first festival this year, which actually is the same weekend as Bolter, is uh, just um, some sand dunes up in, uh, you know, in South Wales somewhere Perfect. that I'm going off to on Saturday after my gig here to close down the BMC to, on Friday, tomorrow night. Perfect. That sounds yeah. like a really fun weekend. Yeah, man. <laughs> Amazing. Lovely to talk to you, Sarah. Thank Thanks you very for much. Your time.